Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, please do not make it your last. Consider subscribing and sticking around. So this video is for my social media managers. I'm going to be sharing a few tips on how you can set boundaries with your clients or employer. Because I've been a social media manager for four years plus and I've seen it all. Or probably not all, but I've seen quite a lot. And from the experiences I've had, trust me, I've learned how to... Um, set boundaries and I'm still learning how to set boundaries so I just thought I should share um, this video and these tips on how you can set boundaries as a social media manager whether you're freelancing working in an organization full-time part-time contract whatever it is I'm going to share some tips on how you can set healthy boundaries for a work-life balance so without further much talking let's get right into the video Now, the reason why I'm making this video is that setting boundaries is very, very important, healthy boundaries, and it's good for you to set boundaries in every aspect of your life, your family, your relationship, your work, everything has to, you just have to set those boundaries, right? They're very important. And the reason why you should set boundaries as a social media manager is so that you can, you know, get that respect, have work-life balance and basically have confidence whenever you set boundaries so the first thing i would say in setting boundaries is to have a contract if you're a freelancer and um, you're working with um, clients probably one or two clients or even more you have a contract i have a video where i detailed what you should include in your contract and i i'm going to leave that video in the description so you can go check that video out but it's very important that you set that boundary by having a contract so that you can be on the same page with your clients now if you're working for an organization where you are not the one that you know draft the contract or anything <laughs> any contract they give you please read it read every single thing read every single thing and when you read it and you don't understand anything please reach out to them to ask them to explain some terms you don't understand before you go ahead and sign it because if you don't understand anything in the contract before you sign it you may be actually signing something that you're not supposed to sign so yeah the first thing is to have a contract make sure you and your client are on the same page and make sure you and your employer are on the same page if they send you a contract number two have a business um, line or a work line like what i mean a work line is a work a number a phone number a whatsapp dedicated for work so if you're interfacing with your clients communicating with your client communicating with your employer have a particular number or no account should you use your personal phone number for work related stuff you're going to regret it <laughs> I'm speaking from experience. You're going to regret it if you try it. Hmm. If you tr you've tried it already and you understand what I'm saying, please leave a comment and tell me that yeah, I've been there. Like, don't try it. Have a work work um line, a work number. So now it's easy on your phone. You can have two WhatsApp, one for business and one for personal. So you can dedicate your personal um whatsapp for you and your family and friends, and then you can dedicate the WhatsApp business for communicating with your clients or your employer or your work colleagues and all of those things if you're rich enough and you can afford it get an entirely different phone like a different phone entirely for work then if you're working for an organization that they can help and um, provide business um, work phone for you then that would be great but if they can't then if you have the money if you can afford it then just get get a phone just get a phone if you can't then just do what I said, have a work line, you have a business WhatsApp and have a personal WhatsApp. Then if possible, if you cannot afford a big um, smartphone to be able to manage the pages from the work phone, then you can get a small Nokia small phone. They have ITEL technology. I'm going to leave a picture on the screen. Just get that small phone and you know that when you want to communicate with your clients, you can always call them with that phone. While you're on WhatsApp, you can use your main phone to chat with them. So that way you can have your personal life and nobody is interfering with that number three have working hours and stick to it you should have working hours you should not be working around the clock you're not a goat even goats sleep <laughs> i'm just joking but you should not you should not why that sound like that you should not um i've lost my chain of thought sorry you should have 
working hours is very important so whether you're working for in an organization doing nine to five or you're working with clients you should have work hours and that's what i talked about in the video where i talked about how to draft your contract and like i said i'm going to leave that um the, the link to the video is going to be in the description so go check that out and have working hours and not just have it stick to it if you decide that um you're going to like in my previous video i told you that as a social media manager you may be required to work around the clock but that doesn't mean that you would not have your personal life so you can decide to um work from whenever you wake up till maybe 7 p.m or 8 p.m everything outside 8 p.m you may decide that i don't want to do anything work related or you may even decide that everything outside 6 p.m i'm done with work but it just depends on you and what you can handle if you decide that you can walk around the clock then it's fine but trust me i want you to know that anything you start with your employer or your client you're going to continue because if they realize that oh i usually call this person by 12 a.m in the morning and this person responds i call this person by 5 5 a.m in the morning they're responding so that means this person is always going to be reachable if you don't set that boundary you'll keep reaching out to you at inappropriate times and it won't stop until you set that boundary be nice but don't be too friendly don't be overly friendly if you're overly friendly with your employer or your clients it'll be very difficult for you to maintain that boundary that you set for that work boundary that you set because you'll notice that because you're too friendly with them or over friendly with them it could even cause disrespect it could cause them to just be you know interfering in your personal space <clears throat> and you don't want that you really don't want that so just be nice and professional don't be too friendly to just help you avoid a lot of things that you should even avoid in the first place so yeah these are basically the few tips on how you can set boundaries this is part one i'm sure i'm going to make a part two sometime because there are many other things you need to set boundaries on how on so that you can have a work life balance if any of these things i mentioned you have kind of faulted in them and you're beating yourself up oh i would have done this i would have done that trust me it's not too late it's not too late you can still set it right because i know i've worked with a client that in the beginning i did not have a contract and then in the middle of the work um, that i was doing i'm like you know what i just remember that we need a contract what do you think about it do you want to um sign it can you read it can you go through it if you're not interested in signing it that means you don't have my interest in heart and i know that okay this work environment or working with this client is not for me so you want to be sure that you're setting these boundaries so that you can have that amazing work balance that you deserve so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't I have a lot of social media management tips and other videos on my channel for skincare reviews content creation and vlogs i can find interesting so consider sticking around and watching some of my videos before you go and of course subscribe if you haven't and then i'm going to see you in my next video bye